Magnesium is absolutely amazing and so critical for the human body. But which type of magnesium should you be taking? How much magnesium should you consider taking? And how can you determine the right dosage for you? First, subscribe to our channel so you can fire up your metabolism forever and never miss out on any important weight loss, diet, and better health videos. And as always, please read the medical disclaimer. And here we go. Did you know that magnesium is a bit of a superhero mineral? It's incredible how many people don't realize that it can be a mood booster, help lower blood pressure, assist in weight management, enhance sleep quality, keep your digestive system happy, and even prevent constipation, along with a bunch of other benefits. Research from all around the world has shown that, surprisingly, magnesium is the mineral most people lack in their diet. While many health experts focus on recommending calcium, which can lead to too much in our bodies and potentially cause issues like hardening of the arteries and heart problems, it's actually magnesium that we all really need. Magnesium is pretty special and is everywhere in nature. For instance, the lovely green hue of grass and leaves comes from chlorophyll, which is green because it reflects green light from the sun's spectrum. So when you admire the greenery, you're seeing magnesium in action. Just like our blood is red due to iron, the green in plants is thanks to magnesium. Speaking of health benefits, magnesium is super important for keeping blood pressure in check. Many healthcare professionals agree that managing diabetes would be incredibly challenging without magnesium. It's essential for the pancreas to make insulin, and even the insulin molecule itself needs magnesium. Plus, the receptors in our cells that welcome insulin are made with magnesium. So, without enough magnesium, producing and using insulin correctly becomes a real issue. Moreover, magnesium is known for its mood-boosting effects. Large studies have found that it can be as effective, or sometimes even more so, than antidepressant medications. But it doesn't get the spotlight it deserves, possibly because it's not a big moneymaker. Magnesium is also your digestive system's best friend and plays a key role in managing blood pressure by being part of the sodium-potassium pump in our cells. Now, how much magnesium should you take? Well, it's not a one-size-fits-all situation, as we're all wonderfully unique, but a great approach to find out how much to take is by using the intestinal tolerance dose. You see, your body will soak up the magnesium until it's fully satisfied. Any excess usually shows up as mild diarrhea, which is your body's natural way of saying, that's enough. This helps you find just the right amount your body needs. When it comes to which types of magnesium you should consider taking, citrate and chloride are top notch for absorption, with magnesium citrate being the star player. Magnesium citrate is what I take because it's super absorbable. On the other hand, magnesium oxide doesn't absorb well and often goes to waste. So if you're considering magnesium supplements, magnesium citrate is your best bet. Isn't magnesium fascinating? I mean, let's make sure we get enough of this magnificent mineral. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe and share it with your friends and family. I'm sending you lots of love, energy, and good healthy supplement vibes. Thank you for watching the video and we'll see you on the next one.